welcome again this is my Paul Siglum and I'm here to let you know that crazy does not win absolutely does not win we the American people are crazy in the sense that we continue to vote for the same two-party system they have had over 200 years to completely destroy our country our future our economy and we the American people are crazy enough to keep believing the media and voting for these two party systems. The physical cliff is here. What is the physical cliff? It is all money, all loans to currency called in. That is the reality, not sequestration. That is a problem in itself, but that's in no way compared to the fact that our entire debt is due with all interest due and the currency that we're using is also called in. How can that be? The currency is not government money, it's not taxpayer money, it is private money since 9 11. That's what's been backing up not just the US dollar, but the global currency market. Now, um, this is not easy to believe, but when you look around you and you know what happened to 9 11, our country has never been the same. It will never be the same again. We have allowed, allowed our two party so called system to destroy us internally. We don't need to be worried about terrorism outside the country. We don't need to be worried about any of that nonsense. Yes, there's a threat. There will always be a threat when people are suffering and they feel like they have nowhere to turn. I'm not defending anyone. The bottom line is right now, we the American people are defending our Democratic and Republican Party for destroying our future. They have had over 200 years to steal everything this country has been built on. We keep voting the same people into office over and over again. What is the physical cliff? Like I said, it's all debt owed and all currency plus interest. The debt was due on 2005, which was rolled over to 2011. It can no longer be rolled over since the global debt has been called in as of November 21st of this year, including the currency. I have been trying to get our government officials to meet with the global debt holder. Who's not China? China owns real China, nothing but opium money. Okay? I've said this clearly in the debates that I've been involved in Congress for 2012, um, which was really no debate involved. There were just um, um, forums with some questions and some people in the audience to listen to the questions and answer. I asked one simple question to all the candidates at all levels, from the president on down to the members in Congress and local officials running for office. Where is the money coming from? There is none. Our so-called seven seventeen trillion dollars in debt is way beyond that. That's not even a drop in the ocean at this time as to what we owe. That's how serious this is. Can our solution? Can we solve this and have a solution? Absolutely. That's what I've been trying to do for the last two years. Since two thousand nine, we've been reaching out to the Obama administration to solve the economy, the housing market, all this can be solved. We know there's been a lot of acts that's happened in the past that's not has not been good for the American people. The people involved will be forgiven. We will move forward. We need to move forward to solve the problems. Not a slogan. Change and forward are two marketing tools that's used that gets you nowhere except take everything from you. But there is forgiveness and we need to take care of us, the American people. Not the parties anymore. The parties are standing in the way. You can control the global economy, but politicians can destroy anything to you, the population. I'm only asking you to believe that there is a solution. The funds are there to forgive and move on to solving the problems and getting us back as human beings having a good life again. Healthcare, Medicare, Social Security, education. That is not your tax dollar. Those are private money that's being used from Chase as a humanitarian bond from the global debt holder has provided a humanitarian bond that sits in Chase that pays for those things. Again, your tax dollars goes to two private accounts in the British Cayman Islands and Puerto Rico. The money that pays for welfare, Medicare, Social Security, education is a humanitarian bond that's in Chase that expires on 2017. So when you hear government talking about five years, four years down the road, that's what they're talking about. 
However, at this time, all debt is due and the currency is due. Meaning whatever is in the system will be sucked into the system to cover those debts. Your congressmen, your senators need to get off their tails, meet with the global debt holder, and they know who that is. I've given them the information personally. I have mailed it to everyone. I've talked about it. I've sent them messages. I've gone to their offices and met with them over the last two years. So the solution is there. However, however, they're concerned about their own personal power structure. Listen, if there's no money, nobody has a power structure. It's going to be free for all. So I'm asking you, the American people, to once again listen, care about your future, knowing for a fact, absolutely, that the solution is there. But the solution means you have to get onto the phone, internet, send a message that you know the funds are there from the global debt holder. He's been reaching out for years now to solve the problems. But all government wants, this is the UN, not just the United States of America, they all want to control those funds. They're not interested in getting it to you. And they can get away with this because you did not know that there is a global debt holder who's been reaching out to save your family, give you a future, education, health care. It's there. Our government needs to know that you know the facts now and that you're going to harass them, contact them. They need to do the right thing for us, the American people. Please get on the phone and let them know that you know the global debt holder has been reaching out. Why do they insist on controlling money that does not belong to them, but money that is being given freely for the American people? To have a life again, to job into the market. Just think, if you go ahead and try and uh, put the humanitarian funds to clean the oceans and river. What is the ripple effect globally on jobs, businesses, banks? Everything becomes liquid again. People have jobs, healthcare, homes, shelter, all the homelessness situation that we're dealing with can go away. Yes, there will always be some issues, but the bottom line is there's funds there to solve the issues. Financially, morally, it's a different story, but financially, the funds are there and it's being given by the humanitarian to there to take care of our issues. But your government needs to get out of the way and help us to have our life back and not tax us into oblivion. Because you can't tax people when they no longer have an income. Take one.